When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a little East End local news. In the news, we begin with the Wayne County Sheriff's Department again asking for the community's help as the Sheriff John Carter and the detectives with the Criminal Investigation Division, along with the assistance from the GBI, investigating a sexual assault that occurred Monday in the Caveville area. Case is an ongoing investigation. The sheriff states that he'll update the status of the case when possible. But if anyone has information related to the case, they're asked to contact the Wayne County Sheriff's Department at 427-5970 or the Communications Department at 427-5992. Sheriff again asking that if anyone has information pertaining to this case, simply call the department at 427-5970. $1,000 rewards being offered for information leading to the arrest and conviction of those responsible for damaging the Howard Bill Warner Field, which occurred this past Saturday evening. Persons entered the playing surface with the vehicle, did damage, leaving large ruts in the outfield, and they did damage in the infield as well. And around the base pass, also damaged the concession stand. If you have any information, simply contact the Jessup PD at 427-1313. Reports late Tuesday afternoon. Police have several suspects that they're talking to. Hopefully soon they'll see arresting charges brought against those responsible. WIFL film will continue to follow the story as it develops, but from reports Tuesday, arrests look like they'll be coming shortly. This information is coming into the police department about who's responsible for the damage. Once again, anyone with the information can contact the Jessup Police Department. $1,000 reward being offered by the Wayne County Home Run Club. So please call police with the names of those responsible for the criminal act at Howard Bill Warren Field this past Saturday. Georgia's two runoff elections go to the Republicans on Tuesday. Brad Raffensperger defeats John Barrow for Secretary of State. Chuck Eaton wins the seat in District 3 on the Public Service Commission. Over Democrat Lindy Miller, Wayne County votes the same way. Here in Wayne County, Raffensperger received 80% of the vote in Wayne County. Total was 2,871 for Raffensperger, 734 for John Barrow. In the public service race, Chuck Heaton in Wayne County also received 80% of the vote, 2,861 for Chuck Heaton to Lindy Miller, 675 for 20%. Again, those results of Tuesday's runoff here in Wayne County. Again, both Republicans win the state runoff on Tuesday. Reminder, on tomorrow's World Famous Pitch and Bob Show, we'll talk with Governor Lake Brian Kemp, set to take office in January 2019. Looking forward to hearing from Brian Kemp on the election of the, and his vision for the state of Georgia. Again, that's tomorrow here on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show. City commissioners met last night. We'll come back and take a look at that meeting right after this word from our sponsor and other commercial messages. So please stay tuned. The Trade Mart at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trade Mart, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trade Mart, the tool supply place. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. 
For all your medical needs, Tim's Home Medical on South First Street and Jessup has you covered. Oxygen, CPAP equipment, wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds, plus specialty medical equipment from a local company that cares. Tim's Home Medical can handle Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurance billing, as well as family records for tax purposes. Tim's Home Medical, owned and operated by Tim Sloan, 918 South First Street in Jessup. Tim's Home Medical. Call 385-2490, 385-2490. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scottbilt, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, R60 and higher insulation values, thermopane windows, and energy-efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles, Bay, or Sheridan today. Jessup City Commissioners met Tuesday evening, and now that the registered voters in the city... Back in November, approved Sunday alcohol sales. The city took measures last night to first approve the election results, then sign ordinances, which will lead to Sunday alcohol sales here in the city of Jessup. In fact, beginning this weekend, package stores and grocery stores such as Winn-Dixie, Harvey's, and Walmart can begin selling alcohol on Sundays from 12.30 in the afternoon to 11.30 p.m. at night. The city will meet on Tuesday, December 18th, and then they will decide when Sunday alcohol sales will begin in local restaurants and what time alcohol can be served. We're looking at it at 11 a.m. to 12 midnight time in line with the brunch law passed in the state of Georgia. Line restaurants around the state begin serving alcohol on Sundays beginning at 11 a.m. for brunch. Four commissioners on hand at Tuesday's meeting passed all the resolutions by unanimous 4-0 vote. Commissioners Ray House and Shirley and Armstrong not in attendance at Tuesday's meeting. Also on the agenda Tuesday, more alcohol licenses for new businesses. Three on Tuesday's agenda, the first for Jessup Billiards at 136 South 1st Street. That passed by a 3-1 to one vote with Commissioner Stanley Todd voting no, saying he did not like the location. It's in the Goody Shopping Center. A constituent wrote to the commissioners asking that they deny the license as this business is located in the same location as a gym for young children. Attorney Michael Connor was asked if legally the city could deny the license, to which Connor states that as long as the city, as long as the business meets the requirements, the city has no legal ground to deny the license. Commissioner Stanley Todd asked, then why do we have to vote? Connor says that's the legal way and the way that it's always been done. Someone just can't start selling liquor out of their house without going through the proper legal requirements. Once again, those license was approved by a three-to-one vote on Tuesday night with Commissioner Todd voting no. He voted yes on the other two, one for Craft 44 located at 1110 East Cherry Street and the other for under the Chandelier venue and rentals. Also on the agenda, 32 current businesses looking to have their liquor licenses renewed last night. That passed by unanimous 4-0 vote, but not before Stanley Todd joked that we have 32 establishments that serve alcohol for 10,000 people in Jessup. Todd says no one should have any trouble finding a drink. Other items on the agenda, Scriven Mayor Jason Weaver asking for a partnership with the two cities where Scriven pays Jessup to pick up their trash in the city of Scriven on Wednesdays, buy 300 cans for the cost of $1,200 a month. An official agreement can be worked out as they will get an exact account on the amount of trash cans in the city of Scriven. And the city will pay a host fee to the city of Jessup. Commissioners want to be certain that Scriven residents pay as much as city of Jessup residents do for their trash pickup. Mayor Weaver thanked the commissioners and says this will be a great help to the city of Scriven. Two pieces of property already voted unanimously for rezoning had the ordinances signed on Tuesday. 1300 South Palm Street being rezoned from R1 to R4 and 689 and 691 North Macon Street and 212 West Poplar Street rezoned from C3 to R3. City of Jessup will finalize plans for their citywide cleanup set for January the 11th and 12th, Friday and Saturday, Friday from 12 to 4, Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 noon with a luncheon that Saturday afternoon at, for the volunteers to take place at the Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market is where everyone will meet and organize, head out to the different districts for cleanup. Commissioner Nick Harris says currently the Boy Scouts, band members, football players have all agreed to sign up and help out. He hopes that civic organizations will sign up and help out as well. Everyone who wants to volunteer can simply call 912-588-8, I'm sorry, 912-588-1815, or you can email cleanjessup at gmail.com. The date's once again Friday, January the 11th from 12 to 4, and Saturday afternoon, January 12th from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. City also signed a resolution last night getting ready for their elections in November 2019. They're going to have staggered turns for three commissioners in districts 2, 3, and 6, 
Qualifying will begin in August of next year, but city commission elections come November of 2019. Finally, at the meeting, the city commissioners voted to amend the budget $125,000 for a city inert landfill. The vote unanimous by a vote of 4 0. That's a look at your Tuesday city commissioners meeting. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor. Other commercial messages, so please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark, the tool supply place. Hey, Santa, what do you have in your bag? I've got a lot of nice presents for your driveway from Feltenberg Automotive. Cars, trucks, and SUVs from 2008 to 2018. Ready to go at a price you can afford. Have you heard the FBA has over 300 five-star reviews on Facebook? So stop by and see the FBA elves and drive away in the sleigh of your dreams. Feltenberg Automotive on the corner of 1st and Pine Street in Jessup. Or visit them at jessupcars.com and on Facebook. This is Chad Burke, and remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Got ticks? Well, we hope not. I'm Dr. Charles Hall. And I'm Dr. Stefania Wilcox. We are the associate veterinarians at Wolf Animal Hospital. As the cool air rolls in, we are noticing the ticks are too. Let us help guard your pets against tick-borne disease this year. Come see us at our main branch, Wolf Animal Hospital, at 755 West Cherry Street. And now we can serve you from our new mobile veterinary clinic in select locations throughout Appling, Brantley, Long, and Wayne Counties. The mobile service will provide preventive medicine and outpatient procedures on site. For more information, contact Wolf Animal Hospital at 912-427-3212. I'm Dr. Charles Hall. And I'm Dr. Stefania Wilcox. And we are ready to serve you and your four-legged family members at our main hospital or one of our satellite locations. Contact us at Wolf Animal Hospital at 912-427-3212. 912-427-3212. Final notes and news. A reminder, this Saturday evening is the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade set for 7 p.m. in downtown Jessup. Today at 12 noon is the deadline to get an entry into the parade. If you'd like to have an entry into the parade, simply call the chamber today at 427 2028 Theme of the parade is Christmas lights and winter nights. The high school band, Many Flow, Santa Claus, all making their appearance in this year's parade. Once again, set for this Saturday night, 7 p.m. in downtown Jessup. Chamber also getting ready for their quarterly membership luncheon featuring Agricultural Commissioner Gary Black. The date, Thursday, December 13th at the Pine Forest Country Club from 1130 to 1 p.m. Tickets are on sale. Advanced tickets for members, $25. For non-members, $35. Need a ticket or like to attend, simply call the chamber at 427-2028. Commissioner Black will discuss the state of agriculture, how agriculture impacts our local economy, and that's a week from Thursday, December 13th at the Pine Forest Country Club. This Thursday evening at 6 p.m., the Wayne County Board of Tourism and the IDA will announce the winners of the Make Wayne County Famous Photo Contest, which was held the event to announce the winners set for tomorrow night at Jessup Insurance Agency at 204 West Cherry Street. In addition to prize money, the top photos will be uploaded on the Georgia Department of Economic Development websites in an effort to attract Wayne or attract the film industry to Wayne County. Again, that's tomorrow night, 6 p.m., the Jessup Insurance Agency building located at 204 West Cherry Street. Wayne County Middle School and High School bands having several Christmas events planned for this month to get you into the holiday spirit. The event last night was that the Martha Puck Middle School Christmas concert was held tonight, or I'm sorry, Thursday night. Arthur Williams Middle School Band has their Christmas concert also at 7 p.m. Then the high school band's Christmas concert set for December the 11th at 7 p.m., also at the high school auditorium, the band also has a fundraising event planned for the night of December 15th. It's a night of dinner and jazz featuring the high school jazz ensemble and the local band Second Chance. This is a dinner fundraising event for the band program. Tickets are $25 in advance, and for admission it includes dinner, babysitting for your young child, and the concert. If you need more information, contact the high school band member. All that taking place this month for your holiday entertainment. Also, don't forget the City of Scrivens events, Christmas in the Park. Friday, December 14th from 6 p.m. until fine sizes, inflatables, a snow party, fire pits and s'mores, hot chocolate, popcorn, lighting the city, Christmas tree at dark, Christmas movie, Christmas caroling, free admission, kids 12 and under must be accompanied by an adult, location at Veterans Memorial Park beside City Hall 
in downtown Scriven. Again, that's Friday, December 14th. That's going to do it for what is in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said, have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. In this moment, who has your back? Do you know the name of your insurance agent? Does your agent know your name? Or would you call a 1-800 number that connects you with who? Another state? Another country? Get a local independent insurance agent with Auto Owners Insurance. Someone you can call when bad stuff happens. In this moment, get an agent who will protect you in that moment. Call Rachel Carter, Dana Davis, Lynetta Baxley, Anna Pickren, Ron Cobb, or Jimmy Swain at James M. Swain and Associates Incorporated in Baxley, Georgia, or Cobb and Swain Insurance Agency in Hazelhurst, Georgia today at 912-367-3601 or 912-375-2020. Wayne Feed and Seed is family owned and operated, so they value their customers as if they were family. Stop by and let them help you take care of your animals and pets with their full line of feeds and animal health supplies. For your lawn and garden, they have a full line of fertilizer and garden supplies. Plus, they have a complete sporting goods department with clothing, guns, ammo, hunting, and fishing supplies. Wayne Feed and Seed, 712 West Cherry Street in Jessup, your hometown source for all your needs. It's that time of year and cold weather is here. Warm up with the new quilted pullovers and assorted colors, $10 off at mine and yours boutique. Also a large selection of tops and dresses, 20% off. Ermish bracelets, stack your own style, regular price 5 for $30, on sale now 5 for 25 Check out the new Hobo Handbags and Wallets makes a great Christmas gift. New merchandise arriving daily just in time for your holiday shopping in downtown Jessup at mine and yours boutique, 138 South Macon Street. Remember, life isn't perfect, but your outfit can be. Good morning, everyone. Our skies are clear. Our temperatures are very cool. Early readings are in the mid and upper 30s. Today, for our Wednesday forecast, we'll have sunshine with highs in the mid-50s. We'll keep sunshine around for our Thursday as well. Temperatures, for the most part, stay mid-50s. On Friday, with sunshine, we're up to 60 degrees, and the next chance of showers rolls in on Saturday. I'm Georgia meteorologist Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. What does your morning sound like? That's Daddy's little man. Morning, Daddy. Grabbed your usual from Mickey D's. Here's to making your morning routine a little better with a delicious breakfast from McDonald's. Pick up two sausage McMuffin with egg sandwiches for just $4 every morning from 5 to 11 at McDonald's. Single item at regular price at participating McDonald's cannot be combined with combo meal. Here's your menu in the Wayne County School System for Wednesday, December 5th. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, breakfast pizza, and warm muffin. Elementary and middle school lunch, chicken bites with mashed potatoes. High school, pizza crunchers or chicken wings, plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. W-I-F-O-F-M, Big Dog Country. It is time to check your birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you today by Bartram Power Sports. Birthday wishes today going out to Hadley Long today. Happy birthday, Hadley Long, from Nana Anna. Hadley Long is celebrating. Happy birthday to Hadley Long today. Macy McDuffie is 11 today. Happy 11th birthday, Macy. We love you. Mama, Daddy, and Ram wishing Macy McDuffie happy 11th birthday, Macy McDuffie. Krista Heffley celebrating. Krista Heffley, happy birthday to Wanda King. Wanda King. Gary Smith celebrating as well. Gary Smith and James Thames. James Thames, happy birthday from the Robin Eubank State Farm Gang this morning. Happy birthday to Haley Harrison. Hallie Harrison. H-A-L-L-E, Hallie Harrison, love your cousins, Caroline, Tripp, and Kate for Hallie Harrison. Happy birthday today. 
Please wish Macy McDuffie happy 11th birthday from your Oakland Baptist Church family. Macy McDuffie 11 from your Oakland Baptist Church family. Happy 13th birthday to Garrison Grantham. Garrison Grantham is 13. Love Daddy, Mama, Mason, and Ailey Caitlin. Allie Caitlin wishing Garrison Grantham happy 13th birthday today. More wishes for Hallie Harrison from Coach Ron, Ms. Haley, Maggie, and Ada. Haley Harrison from Coach Ron, Ms. Haley, Maggie, and Ada today. Corey Poindexter celebrating. Happy birthday, Corey Poindexter from Mama and Branson for Corey Poindexter. Corey Poindexter from Mama and Branson today. Brad Yeomans celebrated yesterday the big 4-0 from Katie Hunter Deacon and Cooper. Brad Yeomans from Katie Hunter Deacon and Cooper. Huh, I don't know what's going on with these. These emails came in way ahead of schedule. I don't we gotta look into this. Happy birthday yesterday to Jylan Fulmore. Jylan Fulmore from Mom, Dad, Sissy, Bam, Jai, and Kayla wishing Jylan Fulmore happy birthday number eight yesterday. Happy birthday, Aunt KK. That would be Corey Poindexter from Jalen, Wesley, Charlie, and Carolyn. That was yesterday, 33 years old Corey Poindexter. Please wish Cheryl Westbury happy birthday from your Oakland Baptist Church family. Cheryl Westbury, happy birthday from your Oakland Baptist Church family. All right, let's see, Big Dog Birthday Book this morning. All right, nothing in the Big Dog Birthday Book, so on to the Long County calendar. Why is it always at the end of the calendar? On the 5th, in memory of Merrill Chapman, and Merrill Chapman, in memory of Merrill Chapman, and then Nikki Lynn, birthday wishes for Nikki Lynn, Nikki Lynn. And that is the Long County calendar this morning. Happy birthday to Hadley Long. These are textosos at 912-427-3711. Happy birthday to Hadley Long from the Lewises for Hadley Long from the Lewises. And happy birthday to Haley Harrison, Haley Harrison from the Brannons today for Haley Harrison this morning. Happy birthday to Tyler Ellis from, from Haley this morning for Tyler Ellis. Okay. Haley Harrison is seven today. We hope your day is as sweet as you love Daddy, Mama, Ellie Grace, and Adeline. Wishing Haley Harrison happy seventh birthday from Daddy, Mama, Ellie Grace, and Adeline today. More wishes for Hadley Long. We love you, Uncle Bubba, Aunt Shannon, and Grayson. Or Hadley Long from Uncle Bubba, Aunt Shannon, and Grayson. Hadley Long from all your family and friends. Happy birthday, 14 today, Hadley Long. Love Daddy, Mama, and Mallory. Hadley Long, 14. We would love to wish our dad and husband, Ernest Chuck Spearman, a very happy 67th blessed birthday with lots of love daughters, Vicki, Sherna, and T, your loving wife, Kizzy, and the rest of the Spearman crew. We love you dearly. Happy birthday, Ernest Chuck Spearman, 67 today. Ernest Chuck Spearman, happy birthday. Okay, let's see here. Comment, 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 comment. You've got time to shoot one in via text at 912-427-3711. Birthdays and anniversaries on WIFO brought to you by Bargerin Power Sports. Famous birthdays today. Actor Frankie Muniz is 33. Cody Banks? Yeah. Come with me. I'm a junior secret agent working for the CIA. Whatever. Singer Little Richard is 86. Mashed potatoes, gravy, and cranberry sauce! Woo! Geico, real service. And Walt Disney was born on this date in 1901. And now, here is Walt Disney. Welcome to a little bit of Florida here in California. This is where the early planning is taking place for our so-called uh, Disney World Project. All right, we'll come back with your big dog country birthday cake winner on WIFOFM. We'll do that right after this for Barge and Power Sports. Up oh, before we go to break, happy birthday to Haley and Harrison. Love Jay Bird, Bess, Bella, and Bennett. All right, you've got 30 seconds to shoot with in via text at 912-427-3711. Back with your big dog country birthday cake winner right after this. Barge and Power Sports invites everyone to come visit their unbelievable new showroom on Highway 301 South in Jessup and on Highway 341 in Brunswick. They have a great selection of ATVs, golf carts, mowers, and more. Bargewood Power Sports carries Arctic Cat four-wheelers and side-by-sides, the new popular Canyon four-wheelers and side-by-sides, cruise carts, and Yamaha golf carts. Bargewood has the full line of Kimco scooters. Don't forget Bargewood Power Sports offers a complete service. 
Service Department for all your service and repair needs. Stop by today and check out Bargain Power Sports, Highway 301 South in Jessup, and their new location on Highway 341 next to I-95 in Brunswick. Your Big Dog Country birthday cake winner on this Wednesday morning. Happy 11th birthday to Macy McDuffie, who picks up the cake from the Jessup Pig Louie Wiggly Bakery. That certificate is here at the station. You come by, you pick that up. It's good for today only. Head to the pig and claim your prize. Bargeron Power Sports, Brunswick Jessup Online, BargeronPowerSports.com, bringing you birthdays and anniversaries. Macy McDuffie is 11, the big dog country birthday cake winner on a Wednesday morning with WIFO-FM. Thank you for waking up with the big dog at 7.38. Bob will have a look at sports. We'll check in with uh, state news from GNN, Family Minute, Butch and Bob show at the top of the hour, look at your forecast, and so much more on a Wednesday morning here at the Big Dog WIFO-FM. Happy birthday. Macy McDuffie, 11, picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. Here's your menu in the Wayne County School System for Wednesday, December 5th. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, breakfast pizza, and warm muffin. Elementary and middle school lunch, chicken bites with mashed potatoes. High school, pizza crunchers or chicken wings, plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. Enjoy the spirit of giving by getting the cash you need from First Franklin Financial. See your friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street. Give us a call at 427-4237 or apply online at 1FFC.com. Make this holiday season something to sing about. Merry Christmas from all of us at First Franklin Financial. All laws subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, MNLSR number 141654, Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656, licensed by the Mississippi Department of Banking and Consumer Finance. Florida Georgia Auction Services, every Thursday and Saturday at 7 p.m., preview at 6. Art, antiques, collectibles, household items, sporting goods, furniture, and much more. Coming December 15th, special guns and knives auction, along with other hunting and fishing equipment. Sales tax is collected unless you have a current sales tax certificate. Check out the website for picks and more items at flgaauction.com. 150 South Macon Street in Jessup, Georgia license number AU004262. This year at Wild Adventures Theme Park, Christmas is bigger and brighter with the all-new Snowville for Kids, family photos with Santa, a five-story animated Christmas tree, and more than a million lights throughout the park. All kids three to five get in free with a pre-K kids season pass, and 2019 season passes are on sale now. Make your Christmas bigger and brighter. Get your tickets and 2019 season passes now at wildadventures.com. FM 105.5 WIFO. It is time to get a look at your GNN Weather Center forecast on the big dog uh, from uh, Laura Huckabee. Good morning, everyone. Our skies are clear. Our temperatures are very cool. Early readings are in the mid and upper 30s. Today, for our Wednesday forecast, we'll have sunshine with highs in the mid-50s. We'll keep sunshine around for our Thursday as well. Temperatures, for the most part, stay mid-50s. On Friday, with sunshine, we're up to 60 degrees, and the next chance of showers rolls in on Saturday. I'm Georgia meteorologist Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. River level, 10.8 feet rising, 10.8 and rising river level. We've got a low tide at 1248, high this evening at 633, 6.7 feet, and sunset at 523. Low to upper 30s, depending on where you are, 37, 37 here at the Big Dog WIFOFM. That is your GNN Weather Center forecast. At 742, good morning from the Big Dog WIFO. It is time for state news from GNN, and that is brought to you by England's Mobile Glass and England's Collision Center. <laughs> Let's screw. Let's face it. Having an accident is no fun. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass is committed to taking the stress out of the repair process. We have been serving Wayne County for over 20 years and know that our customers come first. Enjoy the holidays and let's groove. And good luck with cash canning. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass, located at 586 Southwest Broad Street in Jessup, 912-588-9922. I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network. Republican Brad Raffensperger beat Democrat John Barrow in the Secretary of State's race yesterday. Unofficial totals show a win margin of roughly 52 to 48 percent. 
Raffensperger declared victory and thanked his supporters in Atlanta last night. I'm very humbled. I'm very honored to have won this race tonight. We couldn't have done it without y'all. We couldn't have done it without the blessing of the Lord. Thank you very much. He said he and other statewide Republican winners taking office in January will work to move Georgia forward. And he says he'll also work hard to ensure election integrity. In the Public Service Commission race, Republican Chuck Eaton also won. He beat Democrat Lindy Miller by about the same margin as in the Secretary of State's race. It lasted just over 24 hours, but the boil water order that was under the city of Atlanta was finally lifted yesterday afternoon. It was feared that it would go into the evening yesterday. Of course, the biggest losers from all this was the Atlanta restaurants and coffee shops. A lot of them just shut down while the order was in effect. There was some confusion for a while about what happened and which residents were affected. Keisha Powell's the commissioner of the Department of Watershed Management. She tells CBS 46 they did their best to communicate. My appearance before the media is not my first um, is not my first thought. It was all caused by a pump problem that dropped or cut water pressure in the city on Monday morning. Attorney General Chris Carr says the state of Georgia and 41 other states and the District of Columbia have reached an agreement with one of the country's largest debt buyers, Encore Capital Group. The company was accused of unfair practices. Here in Georgia, the company has agreed to eliminate or reduce the judgment balances of over 5,100 people to the value of over $8.7 million. Some of those people may also get some compensation. I'm Matt Cook, GNN News. WIFOFM is Big Dog Country at 743 on a chilly Wednesday morning here. Uh, pretty much seasonable temperatures. I think it's the El Nino effect that makes us cold and wet in the winter. And in the other one, the La Nina, is the one that we like where it's warm and dry from December through February. But uh, they're saying El Nino effect in effect, so that's why it's been cold and wet. And continue, uh, we'll do it again this weekend, it looks like. Let's uh, zoom in on the Sports Cave webcam. <laughs> All right, Bob is typing, so there will be words in the sports cast coming up in just a minute here on WIFO. But it is time for the Family Minute with Mark Merrill, and that is brought to you this morning by Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology.